Today on Every Burger in Vegas, we are going to Ketchup. I've walked by this thing dozens and dozens of times every time I go to the Planet Hollywood, and I've never wanted to go inside. Well, today we're going inside. How are the burgers here? Why have we heard nothing about ketchup? Let's find out today on Every Burger in Vegas. Ketchup is a burger bar in the Planet Hollywood Mall. The website says copyright 2013. That either means they built their site in 2013 or it's been here since 2013. Not entirely sure. All I know about ketchup is it's a nice sports bar. I love the red color. I assume their favorite condiments, ketchup. Do they make their own ketchup in house or is it Heinz? There is a line that we've been waiting in, which hopefully speaks to the quality of this place. They have all sorts of drinks here. Right at the bottom of the menu, you can see the Dirty Sanchez. Ketchup has everything. They got a burger of the month, California burger, fully featured menu. They also do a Ketchup Colossal Burger Challenge. Can you finish it all in 30 minutes? Looks like a giant burger and shake for 40 bucks. If you guys want to see us do the burger challenge, let me know down in the comments below. I would never come in here. If it wasn't for every burger in Vegas, I've walked by this place a million times, and I think that's one of the benefits of this channel. We're getting to see all these places we never would walk in. Hey, can I get the ultimate cheeseburger? Sure, it's about a 35 minute wait on food at the moment. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Anything else? Can I just get a cup of water? Definitely, will that be all? Yeah, that's everything. Mm -hmm. This is the double burger, double cheeseburger from Ketchup. You can see there's a lot going on. Two patties, looks like cheddar cheese, some kind of white cheese. It's romaine lettuce, a bunch of bacon. It looks pretty good. It actually looks pretty good. So let's dive in and let's see, is the burger at ketchup all it's cracked up to be? Is it as good as it looks? Let's see. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna take one more bite of this burger. You can see just like the, the juiciness of this burger is next level, or the sauces or whatever. Mm. It's good, but in order to get a complete picture, you know what we're gonna do. Let's tear this baby apart. Let's start by removing this deadly skewer, and we can get into the bun. It looks like a normal, maybe some egg in there, it's kind of yellowed, like there's egg in there. Toasted bun. The bun itself tastes pretty fresh, tastes high quality. Uh, mi nice mid-grade bun. The cheese, let's try the cheese here. If we can even get the cheese. Let's try the cheese here. Mm -hmm. The cheese is a mild cheddar, which is a little more dense than an American cheese. Doesn't really melt as well as an American cheese and doesn't really have the flavor, the nostalgia of like a Kraft mac and cheese. Let's try the bacon. Mm. The bacon's perfect. The bacon is like high-end breakfast restaurant level bacon. Just enough crisp, but not burnt, not undercooked at all. Very well seasoned, very well flavored. You can, you can see the bacon here. It looks like really high quality, nice bacon. Through the bacon, we get to the actual meat itself. You can see here the burger's well done. Well done burger, no pink at all in there. Let's try that out. It's not organic beef, but for a normal burger, it's pretty good. It doesn't have too much salt. I would give the salt level like maybe a two out of 10, three out of 10. So not too much salt, not too much seasoning at all, actually. It just tastes like meat with maybe a sprinkle of salt. I'm not even tasting any pepper in here. Moving down, there's another type of cheese. So let's try this other, it's a white cheese. It melts a lot better than the cheddar. Bottom meat, you can see this, uh, you can see the grill marks are nice, it's nice and grilled. Let's jump in here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like this burger a lot. Pickles. The pickles taste like they're grocery store pickles, like just normal. Normal pickles, tomato. Tomato is pretty ripe, not like an organic tomato or anything. Romaine lettuce is good, good quality. This sauce, I don't know if this is a homemade mayo or what. You know what's weird as I'm eating this? This place is called Ketchup. 
There's no ketchup on this burger. There is no ketchup on this. It's mayonnaise on this burger. But the mayo or maybe even a ranch, it tastes kind of like a ranch sauce. It actually works really well. I like that a lot. Double cheeseburger at ketchup. 6.5, 6.5 out of 10. I think it's a high quality burger. I would eat here again. I would definitely eat here again. So let's talk about the pricing here. The burger ended up being $19.76 after tax. Let's move into the final thoughts. What do I think of ketchup? I could see myself coming in here with some friends. Not really a good date spot. <laughs> a decent restaurant, it's in a mall. The burger's okay, $18 burger. I wish I could recommend it. There's so many good spots in Vegas that it doesn't really make sense to go to anything but the best. Right down the street, you could try to get into Gordon Ramsay burger or even like PBR or like Moon Palace even is better than this burger. Holstein's across the street, like there's too much competition in Vegas to recommend a spot like ketchup. And that, those are my final thoughts. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash the like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. It really helps us go down and hit that like button to help promote the channel and grow it. Subscribe, because we are eating every burger in Las Vegas. If you want to see that, watch the past videos. We've done a bunch. Watch the future videos. Leave a comment down below. If you ate ketchup, what did you think of it? And also, is there any restaurant that you want to see us talk about on this channel? Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.